Now let's learn how to create your own coloring book onto Leonardo AI. So we'll guide you through the process of creating your very own coloring book. And it's a fantastic way to express your creativity and share your art with others. So the first thing that you'll need to do is just head onto Leonardo AI's website in here. And once you're in, you should be able to see the featured models here onto the upper part. So you could browse through this one in here using this arrow. And right after, you should be able to choose a model in here that you could use as a guide or something as a reference for your coloring book. But before that, let's head onto this part in here, onto the lower part, which is the recent creations. So these are actually done by other users in here. So the search bar is temporarily disabled as of the moment right now, but you could utilize this all or upscale and the trending new and top in here to search for your favorite ones. So. This is really important into creating your coloring books if you're actually finding an inspiration on what you should do. So you could check on the pictures in here. So as you can see, we could see this little crocodile in here. So this is actually what we want to generate. So we want something like this, which is a coloring book. So we have the details in here, black and white outline art for cute children. So we have the prompt details in here, which is black and white outline art for cute children's coloring book pages and alligator all white with children's styles and all of that. So these are actually the prompts that we'll try to use so that we could generate something like this as well so that we could create a coloring book. So as you can see, it has the input resolution also in here, the resonance, the pipeline, the preset, the prompt magic strength, when it was created, the contrast boost, the seed, the prompt magic, and the row mode off. So as you can see, this is actually the model that they use, the fine tune model Dream Shaper version 7. So this actually also an alchemy smooth upscale image. You could check the original image in here and then zoom image and the no background. So you could download this image, share it to your friends, and then also onto the three dots in here, you could edit it on a canvas and report this. What we'll need to do in here so that we could create something like that as well is just simply click on to just generate this model. So if you want to start a new as well, you actually have an option. So let's just click this exit button in here. So let's just discuss first regarding the things onto the left side. So we have the tokens, which will gonna be used onto our generation. And if you want more, just simply click on to upgrade. You could also check for the community feed. So this is the recent creation or just what you're gonna see also into the community feed, which are done by other users. And we also have a personal feed. So this personal feed that we have in here are the things that I have created before. So these are my image generation, the followers feed and the like feed. We also have the training and data sets wherein you should be able to train your own model in here so that you could use it as a reference and the fine-tuned models onto which I have discussed earlier. We also have here the AI image generation, AI canvas, texture generation, the settings, back and hop and the log out button. So for us to be able to have the same photo of the coloring book that was an alligator design, we'll need to head onto these fine tune models. There are different options in here, the platform models, community models, your models and favorite models. So we'll click onto platform models in here. So these are the different models that Leonardo AI offers. And as we remembered earlier, this is the one that was used by that certain photo that we want to copy out. So let's simply click onto that. And as you can see, its name is Dream Shaper version 7. And the description it has in here is the Lycan is back with another update, which is this model, great at a range of different styles. We have its training resolution, the category, the base model, and the strength, which is medium. So what we'll need to do to head onto the generation page is to simply click on the generate with this model. Then right after, you should be able to see the type of prompt in here. So this is where we're going to put what we want to see onto the photo, the fine-tuned model that we choose earlier, the style, which is you could choose if you wanted to have it a Leonardo style. So let's leave it as it is. And the negative prompt or the things that you don't want to see onto the image. So you could type it in here. So you have the recent creation here onto the bottom part. We also have here the tokens the number of images that you want to generate per generation. So we actually have two in here. You could have up until eight, but that is for the paid feature. And since we're using a free one, you could have it up until four. We have the different features as well, the image dimension, the guidance scale, the control net, tilling, and the image to image and image prompt. So if you want to have something as a reference or a photo as a reference, just simply drag it and drop it in here so that you should be able to have it as your reference. Now it's time to write in our prompt in here. 
Also, you could just paste it the one that I have seen earlier so that you could receive the same one like that. But we could use this one as well, which is Fish for Kids Coloring Books, black and white only, outlines and white background. Then we'll choose a fine tune model in here. So since Dream Shaper was used earlier, let's try out another one. Let's try other things. And here onto the community models, we could try to search for some things that we could use for the coloring book. So we could utilize the search bar in here. Let's try to find coloring book. Then let's try to see if there are anything that is used for coloring book. So we have this one, the other things as well in here. So I think this one would be a best fit anime girl coloring book so we'll use this and let's just simply click on to generate for this model then let's try to see what it will give us so we'll simply click on to generate in here and as you can see these are the photos that it generated we have this first fish in here but i think there has been some issues within the face so since it wants to depict a cute fish for the coloring book so it has this kind of eyes and there might be some issues regarding the scale since it doesn't really perfectly put in the scale just like what a fish would look like. So you actually have the option to delete this image, download it, copy this, and zoom, and remove the background. Then head on to the next photo. So I think this one looks more like of a fish. So we could have this one downloaded so that we could use it onto your coloring book. So you could just simply utilize the guidance scale in here so you could update this one in here so that you should be able to receive different image generation so let's try to regenerate again and we'll use 9 and let's try to see what it will give us now here are the other photos so as you can see i think there is some kind of a fish inside as well in here so you could utilize the negative prompt that we've discussed earlier so that so that you could type in that you don't want to see an eye or a fish inside it and we have here the other fish in here as well for the coloring book so you could download the photos that you have like so that you could compile it to create a coloring book so we have here the prompt generation as well if you're having a hard time so this tool will allow you to come up with more complex prompt ideas so you'll just need to simply type in a keyword in there and click ideate and it will come up with a number of more complex concepts which include a an example that you have written in here which is car so you could use this feature in here so that it will guide you on to creating the prompts so let's try to remove this cute fish for kids in here and let's add in flower so let's try to see what it will give us so let's be specific let's add sunflower for kids coloring book black and white only outlines white background and let's try to see what it will give us now here are the photos that it generated so this one i think there has been some issues within the petals here and the other one so i think this one is quite good so we could have this one downloaded so that we could compile it for a coloring book now let's try to add in simple in here and let's remove sun so that we could see different flowers then let's click on the generate and here are the photos that it generated so this one since we've added the word simple so it has given us a simple flower in here so we have this one as well so we could actually still use both of these for a coloring book so what you'll need to do next is you'll just need to simply compile all of the photos that you have generated so that you could have it printed for your coloring book and there you have it you've completed your journey to create a coloring book from scratch so I hope this guide inspires you to unleash your artistic talents and bring happiness to others through coloring.